myself. Oh, I've done that a couple of times today. I don't know what's happening uh, with technology. It's great to be back. It is clear that we are here in the limelight again, yet with another really extraordinary entrepreneur. You're really going to want to want to check out this show for sure. And you can do that on Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, Amazon Music, Stitcher, Spotify, Pandora, and Podbean. If you want to listen to the podcast and on TV, we are on Roku, Chromecast, Apple TV, Android TV, Amazon Fire, Pluto, Zumo, and many more. You are going to want to get over to clarissabert.com so you can take a look at the latest edition of the In the Limelight with Clarissa magazine. It is intelligent media for the savvy entrepreneur. So get over to clarissabert.com and check that out. You are also going to want to know about mynewsdesk.com. It is the place that I am using now to send out news uh, releases, press releases. It's a great way to get your story covered, to get your company covered, to get your me message out. Uh, they do monitor billions of sources, journalistic sources, and they also uh, monitor for different subject matters and you can, you know, if we comp you can check out your competition. It's a really great tool uh, just to be able to be ahead of the curve when it comes to getting your message out as quickly as possible. So you're going to want to get over to mynewsdesk.com for that. And today we've got an ex really, as I said before, an extraordinary entrepreneur, someone who has changed the face of health and I know that there isn't a grocery store, at least in the health aisle that I know of, that you can't find one of his products. I'm going to bring in Dr. Udo Erasmus. There he is coming in from Vancouver today. Hi. Hi. Is that where you live in Vancouver, sir? Yep. That's where I've been living since 1962. It's a little chilly up there, is it not? Uh, it, the sun just came out, which is always beautiful. <laughs> right. And it's been raining for the last few days. And yeah, quite chilly. Yeah, but so we mostly don't get snow here. We just get rain because the Japanese current is warm, and uh -huh. fifty miles along the, uh, uh, along the coast, all the way up to Alaska, it just well, rains in winter most of the time. Well, look at what you're teaching me today. Sure. Well, we. <laughs> So we just have to really know about your products. Again, as I said before, most uh, grocery stores that I know of here in the United States, at least, do carry your products. They are sold. Uh, in oh, You have also sold over 250,000 books. Uh, the book that I think really put you on the map was fa uh, your book about fats, the fats that um, heal yeah. and fats that kill, correct? Fats that heal, fats that kill. Yeah, I had a book. Right. I had a, 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 a first version of it was called Fats and Oils. And the right. title was so boring when I started to give talks. <laughs> I, I, I started calling it Fats That Heal, Fats That Kill, because they're literally two opposite stories. Right. When I redid the book, I said, you know what? We should really be calling it Fats That Heal, Fats That Kill. So this is a complete guide to fats, oils, and cholesterol, and the human health. You speak about different oils, and I, I listened to an interview that you did that said, you know, we we absolutely kill oils when we fry. It's the worst method for cooking that the you know, human ever invented. Yep. That's exactly what I said. And here's, here's the reason why. Omega-3 and omega-6 are essential fatty acids. They're right. essential nutrients your body can't make. So you have to get them from outside. And if you don't get them, your health goes down. And if you don't get enough long enough, you die. Right. But if you're going down, but you bring them back because you weren't getting enough, mm -hmm. now you're getting enough again, then everything that comes from not getting enough is reversed because life knows how to make a body provided we take responsibility here right. to make sure the building blocks land in the body so life can do its job. And You're they're the most sensitive of all of our essential nutrients. So they need the most care and they actually get the least care. Can one overdo <laughs> or abuse good fats? Yes, by, by treating them badly. I, I, I like to say fats are vindictive. If you, tr if you treat them with care, they'll take care of your health. Mm -hmm. And if you treat, if, if you damage them, they will damage your health. But can damage we damage health? Damage health. Yeah. Can and we ingest too much of it? Can we ingest too much of a good thing? You can get too much oil. Uh, the way you'll know is your liver. You'll get nauseous because your liver has to process oils, and when the liver gets too much to do, it blocks you from eating more because you don't want to eat when you feel like throwing up. Right. And that's, so the, that's the liver. That's the way the liver protects you from overdoing it. Okay. Oh, that's good to know. All right. Yeah. So back in 1980, you got sick. You got sick from pesticides. Yeah, I got poisoned want... by pesticides. I was mm. stupid, careless. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> because that, yeah, you were out killing pests or doing, so how did that happen? Was it by uh, respiration? 
Uh, yeah, I, I, I swallowed it actually. And then I ended up with uh, nausea, dizziness, cramps. Oh. And oh. no energy. That was the that was the longest lasting symptoms. And it felt when I turned my head, it felt like my head turned, but my brain didn't. Now, obviously, that's oh. not what happened, but that's what it felt like. It's what it felt and, like. Yeah, it's Ooh. a really strange symptom. And I Why? went to the doctor, said, "What do you have for pesticide poisoning?" She said, "Nothing." That's when the penny dropped. That's when <laughs> oh. the penny dropped, and you said, "Okay, I'm going to figure health, this out by my myself." It's my responsibility. And I had good science background in biochemistry and genetics and biological sciences. So I right. used that to go to the journals to read about health and nutrition and disease and nutrition because your body is made, you know, your entire body by nature is made only out of water, oxygen, and food. Water, oxygen, no, and food. Exactly. No drugs, no industrial chemicals in nature. Right. And the genetic program knows how to work in nature. Right. And so, so this is Right. Yeah. So, so, and so I started looking at food and uh, food and health because if you're, if you're sick and you raise your standard of intake, then within one year, 98% of your body will have been rebuilt to a higher standard. Mm -hmm. All we need to do is raise the standard here to raise the standard here. Right. Because the body's made out of food, water, and, and oxygen. Right. And so I can assume, yeah. I'm going to assume you're a huge proponent of organic foods. Of course. Yeah. Why pesticides? I mean, I, I sprayed it, right? I yeah, know right. the Get only reason we make pesticides is to kill living things. Right. And they either yeah. usually killed by killing their nervous system, like poisoning their nervous system or poisoning their breathing. Right. And why would we, and, and all the creatures on the planet are not that different in their chemistry. So if it kills one bug, It'll it'll kill me too. I'm the other bug. It'll mm -hmm. kill that bug too. Right. Right. So, so yeah. So it's a really so, dumb thing to do from a health perspective. Yeah. Absolutely. So you started to do. You got sick. You started to do your research. You said, "Okay, if the doctors can't help me. I'm going to help myself." Again, started to do the research, and then you found what? What were your next steps? Well, I I developed a method. I because I understood how sensitive they are. I said, "Oh, they need to be made with health in mind, not with shelf life in mind." And that requires to create a very tight uh, process where light, oxygen, and heat do not get to the oil while it's being pressed, filtered, settled, filled, until it's in a brown glass bottle, in a box, in the fridge, in 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 you know in the in the factory. Right. So you have to make a really tight system. Well, I grew up on a farm, and you know, on the farm, you you you. You get lots of practice <laughs> jiggering things, right? So I, I, I was comfortable with that. But the second thing that happened is the year after I got poisoned, it was established that omega-3s are essential nutrients. That was not clear until 1981. Right. And, and, uh, and it was also clear that 99% of the population doesn't get enough of them for optimum health. And the form they were in, was super damaged because they they are the most sensitive of all of our essential nutrients, and but they are very very high energy. I call them the God molecule. It's called right. alpha, alpha linolenic acid and an omega three. Alpha right. and omega is the big picture, right? Right. Anyway, right. that's just that's, that's just cute, but uh, but they they need the most care, and I decided that I would give them a care so that they could retain their health benefits. But mm -hmm. when I found out that omega-3s are essential and 99% of the population doesn't get them, and yeah. I was already thinking about how to make them with health in mind, I, 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 I went off like a fire tracker, firecracker because it was like, oh my God, we could help so many people, many people. if right. we could bring them back. And the research now says, it wasn't then, but the research now says, if you increase omega-3s in the diet and they're not damaged and they're not toxic, you can improve virtually every major degenerative condition of our time. Wow. I just knew they were essential and most people aren't getting them. And with essential come, and every cell needs them. So every right. cell doesn't work optimally right. if you don't get the high energy fuel mm -hmm. by which your cells can do their work 40 to 60% better right. than they can without it. 
And why is it that you know, 86 was a big year for you? Because there was a development then of flaxseed oil and then Udo's Choice, which yeah. I've used on many different occasions. Yeah. Uh, so why did you turn to flaxseed? What was it about it that was so attractive to well, you? Well, flaxseed is the, is the richest source of omega-3s in their most stable form that is easily available to us and affordable. Mm -hmm. So flaxseed. And we were using it for paint. And then it goes rancid and stinks. Yeah. And I was yeah. saying, okay, let's, it was called linseed oil. And we, we decided to call it flaxseed oil to make the distinction between the paint grade stuff that's right. bad for you right. and the good stuff that we make fresh. Well, that's over yeah. a billion dollar industry right now. You know, that, yeah. that really, that really kind of took off. And then yeah, yeah. as of uh, 2018, you had sold over 25 million bottles worldwide. And then you started to move into supplements. Right, so you were looking yeah, more, because, at, you know, for dogs and cats, horses and humans. Yeah, I did, did all that. Yeah, but I also did, actually I, the second thing I did is started looking at digestion because I said, okay, we the oils we got them now because that was the most confusing area, and I like taking on stuff like that. And then it was <laughs> okay, digestion is in the second most neglected area, and right. everybody's always got something going on with digestion. Right. Of course, now probiotics, probiotics, right. probiotics way before all that research was done. Probiotics, digestive enzymes, they still haven't hit right. the, hit their wave. Yeah. And I tell you, important. I was very, when I was, you know, doing my research on you, I, I saw in uh, an interview where you were talking in front of a class, looked like at a university or some sort. And you were saying, you know, one of the best things you can do for, you know, probiotic uh, use is just to break a capsule in your mouth you know, brush your teeth with brush it and go teeth. to bed that way. Yeah. And go to bed that way so yeah. that it actually seeps into the gums and it, yeah. it brings to mind for me, it brought to mind oil pulling, but I never right. ever thought about right. opening up a capsule of, you know, probiotics, right. which I think you call no. super eight, the super uh, eight. Yeah, I, I use one called super bifido plus, but there's, there are okay. eight specific ones. I see. There's okay. There's eight, eight, seven of them. And what are the what are the benefits of of, of yeah. the probiotics in the mouth overnight like that? You know, if you want to if you want to work in health, you always got to look at nature, because mm -hmm. our whole genetic program was made to adapt us to live in nature. Right. And the question is always, and now we live civilized. You know, I'm on a on a, on a television, and I got lights here, and you know, like so we're very we are live quite a bit away from nature. And the question for me is always, how was it in nature before we got right. civilized? Mm -hmm. Well, in nature before we got civilized, we ate a lot of raw foods. We, we were running around naked in, in, in some <laughs> places at least. You know, we stripped against plants. Plants have probiotics on, on them that they pick mm -hmm. up from the top layer of the soil. And when an animal eats a plant, the probiotics start their journey in its mouth, not in its stomach. When right. we make probiotics, we put them in capsules. People swallow the capsules. They get benefits from the stomach down, but not benefits from the stomach up. I never so thought if, of that. So if you start them, yeah, and I thought about it. So I said, you know, we should just <laughs> our teeth with them if you want to use them, if you want to get the best effects from them. And right. So you dump them in your mouth. You brush your teeth with them. You leave them in your mouth, swallow them, but leave them in your mouth. And then you go to bed and you wake up with exponentially less severe bad breath in the morning. Wow. Because they fight the rot bacteria, they steal their food, they outpopulate them, and they inhibit their growth. That's and incredible. That's now, I'm assuming we're saying, we're saying, sorry. Yeah, that's, that's part of the job that they have in the entire digestive system. To right. To nasty bugs uh, in check. So obviously no toothpaste in all of this process. No, no. Just well, the probiotic. You do all that stuff before morning. Okay. You okay. This, you do this last, and then you don't rinse your mouth because you want to keep keep them in sure. your mouth. Because sure. when you sleep, you don't swallow. You don't know that if you because you if you're asleep, you don't know that. But you don't swallow when you're sleeping. People right. have studied that, and so the rot bacteria that you didn't kill with your toothpaste and your mouthwash and all of that, they just mm -hmm. multiply. They right. eat your mouth all night. Have nothing to stop them. Right. So, you need live bacteria, live friendly bacteria to stop them. And that's yeah. why you do it that way. So you do that last and you leave them in your mouth, you swallow them, and you get a, a nice hit of probiotics for your entire digestive system. But you wake up in the morning with exponentially less bad. Well, breath. Dr. Udo, I thought I knew it all, but I obviously didn't <laughs> when it yeah. came to probiotics. So that's something new for me. And I promise yeah. you, I'm going to try it for sure. Yeah, yeah. I, other... I, 
I know it all until I find out more too. Of course, exactly. <laughs> and that's why we're here and I love doing what I do because I learn yeah. every day when I do these interviews. But you yeah. were saying, you know, you, were, you, you grew up on a farm and that, you know, the cows had sweeter breath. Yeah. And that, you know, that, that was because, so explain that a second because that was really, uh, that was another light bulb moment for me when I heard right. that. Well, a cow in the meadow eats grass. The probiotics are on the, on the top of the soil where the grass is fermenting as it's being recycled into soil. That's where they live. The grass pushes through the soil, picks up the probiotics. The cow eats the grass because it's fresh, whole, raw, and organic, mm -hmm. right? And then it, it, and then the probiotics end up in its mouth, starting their journey in their mouth. And because they're always doing that, cows have sweet breath. It's almost like yogurty breath, almost. And but if you feed them junk, they can get bad breath too. Sure. But when they Absolutely. live in line with nature on the meadow eating grass, they have sweet breath. And yeah. I remember that as a kid. I never thought about it. But when I started to, looking at probiotics, I remembered that. And I said, oh, that's why. How cool is that? And it was just, in a way, confirmation for me right. of, of doing it this way. Yeah. Just Well, not yeah. only have you created – a plethora of, of products and, you know, certainly they're being enjoyed by millions of people around the world, but you've also created different membership programs or health memberships that are a different way to get in, to learn from you. There's a mental health course, for example, there's how to age well and thrive course, which is great. The magic weight loss course. I want the magic oh, yeah. weight loss course. <laughs> and then we've got also, I was very interested to hear more about your take on the total sexy health course. Oh yeah. Well, total sexy health, you know, sexy is the power word. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> so what makes a person, what makes a person sexy? Well, I suppose it's in the eye of the beholder, but I'm going to go with confidence. I don't know. Do you think it's the lipstick and the perfume? No. No, no. You no. know, and, and, and the rest of nature is sexy too. Right. And it doesn't need lipstick and, and perfume either. Absolutely. So sexy is the power word. What makes you sexy? If you live aligned with nature and your nature, you will be the most radiant being that you can be. Right. And it's the radiance, it's the energy, it's the it's the confidence, it's the it's the sureness, it's the clarity. It's the honesty. Those are the things that make us sexy right. that people can pick up on. Absolutely. So, get, and so I, sexy, so there are eight parts. One is internal awareness. That's like your foundation. That's where your peace lives. Real peace. Not right. they stopped shooting, now it's peace. That's not peace. That's right. ceasefire. But a peace that is part of our nature, that is always there, cannot e be affected by anything. Always there. When you're in that peace, something about you is very comfortable to be around. Yeah. So internal awareness. Second is life energy. Life energy is actually who you are because you're not the body. Like if I ask you whose body is that, you would say it's my body, right? Absolutely. But if you say this is my body, you have just told me that you're not the body. You've just told me you're the owner. So who owns your body? Well, I do. But yeah, who is that? Well, life owns your body. Life right. weighs nothing and runs everything. Life is energy. Came from the sun, through the plants, into molecules. You get that energy when you when your body digests and metabolizes the molecules. Right. That energy is a flow, indestructible, cannot get sick, never dies, and loves your body unconditionally, even Fantastic. more than a mother loves her children. Fantastic. Because mothers have conditions. This is unconditional. You can be a total ditz and be unconditionally loved. You can be, you can have a history of bad behavior and love life loves you unconditionally. Yes. Maybe to the chagrin of the lawmakers. But yes, of but course. Story, right? <laughs> I know that coming up in uh, April yeah. of next year, you're going to be at the New Living Expo. That had to be postponed this year. Yeah, we, uh, we, did, we did a virtual one. Uh, yeah. Yep. Uh, we did a virtual one and I, I got my hour in, but it's not the same as doing it live. No, of course it's because not. I, I like to do question and answers because it, it it's slower. Yeah. But the learning is better. So Absolutely. Anyway, there's so there's that. And life energy in you is omnipresent, omnipotent, and omniscient. Knows everything, is everywhere mm -hmm. present, 
and is all powerful in your body. Well, that's yeah. the definition of God. Yes, it is. Oh, okay. So this is so, so, or the master. Life is the master. Mm -hmm. See, the master that everybody talks on the outside actually lives on the inside. Whether you believe in masters or not, whether you're religious or not, your life energy is the same energy that was Christ or the enlightened Buddha because yep. it's light. You can see the light. If you if you sit still and look into the darkness, you see light. In the in the emptiness, you feel into the emptiness. You see, uh, you feel love. And if you listen into the silence, you actually have a, hear a sound. That's all part of the master in you running the show. So that's number two. Number three is inspired creativity, and that's to shine into the world of that energy. Then there's the physical body, food and fitness. That's what most people talk about when they talk about health. But the, all of these have a, have a, have, have a, play a role in health. Then there's survival smarts. That's the, the, the protective part of mind. Then there is social group. You know that who you hang out with affects your health. Yes. When we were kids, some people would really irritate us. And we'd say, <laughs> you make me sick. Right? So we <laughs> even knew with kids that... Yeah. that that other people affect their health. Then you have the, the natural environment. That affects your health. And then there's a big picture, the fact that you live in a temporary body in an infinite universe. And yes. that one day your body will end and being okay with that. And be if you're in touch with all eight of those, you will be your sexiest. Any one of them you get disconnected from, you lose part of your sexy. When you go back, get back in line with it, you get your sexy back. So that's right. the model. And in terms of emotional health, if you're aligned with all eight parts of nature and your nature, right, your dominant emotion, it's actually a state of being, it's not really an emotion. Your state of being will calm presence. Calm presence and adaptability and flexibility and connection and being okay with everything, right? Because yeah. you will feel so taken care of because life right. takes perfect care of you. Absolutely. When, when, when I am perfectly taken care of, I'm okay with everybody. Mm -hmm. I, they don't all have to do it my way. I, they don't have to agree with me. You right. know, it's not like politics. You know, if, right. if, uh, if, you don't believe, if you don't agree with me, you're the antichrist. You know what the yeah. heck is that? Yeah, exactly. Right? <laughs> My way or the highway. <laughs> when, when we're trying to when we're trying to just figure out how best to serve the most people as an administration of the people's affairs. Right? Absolutely. So, so thank you for uh, that. So, thank yeah, you. so that's the so that's the, the model. And the reason that what it came out of is that everything affects health, you know. So if you're going to if you're going to create a really good teachable field of health, which is one of my missions, then you have to look at the whole picture because everything affects health. And there's a way to be healthy in each part. And there's a way to depart from health of each part. And that's called dis-ease or illness. Absolutely. Uh, so that's really fun to do. And I, I, I wanted to turn uh, health and human nature into teachable fields. What's and I think wrong? you're doing a fabulous job at that. <laughs> what, what's, what's, wrong, what's wrong in the world is mainly comes from our disconnection from our inner peace, our disconnection from our life, and our disconnection from inspiration. If you're not inspired, you're heading towards depression. Yes. Right? And yes. then you try to figure it all out in your head, but your head is supposed to be the servant of life, not the master. Right. Very important. Right? Oh, I could it's sit a, here all day. <laughs> a servant, a servant of peace, not the master. Yeah. It's I a, could, you know, I the, could the be brain is a computer. It. It's supposed to be your life's computer. It's supposed to be the master's servant, you being the master as life. It's like, okay, well, you know, we need to sit still and get into being instead of do, 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 do. If you do, 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 do too long, you turn into do, do. <laughs> So, so BBB, BBB, you know, and being is more important than doing because you can be without doing, but you can't do without being. Right. So, so if you're living your life 
never stopping and looking and, and staying still and connecting to being and discovering your own magnificence, then you're always going to live a life without foundation. And then you're going to live a life without peace. And then you're going to live a life without unconditional love. And then mm -hmm. you're going to live a life without courage because courage comes from feeling love. In fact, courage is French for heartage, heart itch. Quote out, right. Right? Right. So, you know, so, so what is it, what is it like to be fully, you know, the, the cherished state is to be fully present in all of your being and your surroundings, not lost in thoughts in your head. How many like that? How many people like that do you know? Oh, yeah. You know, that really are fully present in all of their being and their surroundings? And no. can respond to situations no, no, no. as they no, arise no. without freakouts. No, not many. Not, I don't think. Many. Maybe you. Maybe you. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm working on it. I'm I'm a work in progress. <laughs> well, Doctor Udo, I got to thank you. Last words, please, sir. <laughs> well, I'll tell you, I could sit here all day. Really, I could sit here all day and be schooled because there's a lot to to learn, and uh, you have such a calming effect, Doctor Udo. I must say, really? <laughs> uh, yeah. So animated. Oh no, 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 no! You have just brought me right back down to what is oh. what is and what's real, oh, really? and I want to thank you. Anything I could do to help people find, uh, get to get a little more present in the space their body occupies, right. is, is a step in the right direction. Well, thank you, sir, very much All for right. your time. I really appreciate it. I'm going to ask you to stay right there, Dr. Udo, while I say goodbye to our audience today. Okay. Everybody that's been listening knows where they can find us on podcasts and on TV. And if they don't, I'm going to tell them now, sir, you stay right there while I say bye, everybody. We'll see you next week. Thanks for listening to this episode of the In the Limelight podcast, intelligent media for the savvy entrepreneur. You can listen to this and all of my podcasts on Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, Stitcher, Spotify, Pandora, and Inspired News Radio. You'll find all of my videos and the In the Limelight digital magazine on clarissabert.com. And don't forget to connect with me on social pretty much anywhere. Stay well until we meet again in the limelight.